salam to everyone watching this. We are all the ESB students from Whitby and are here today to make a nice and easy Ramadan craft from Simple Things at Home for the Men Ramadan Craft event. Let's get started. So today we're going to be making a welcome Ramadan basket. Next are the materials that are required to make this project. So the first one of course is the basket itself and then we also used some scissors, tape, and string. After this, most of the materials are kind of customizable, whatever you have at home you can use. And so for the food, we decided to add some cookies, some lollipops, candies, and some containers for some spices. In addition, we added some zum zum water or holy water. And then for some of the more religious things, we added a tasbi, which is basically just used to count the number of times you praise God, in addition to a prayer mat and some religious books that are more children-based. We also added some candles, one real one and one fake one, just for decorational purposes. Uh, we have a box as well for the candies to go inside and to make it look nice, and finally some markers as well as some paper, stickers, and stamps just to make some quick Ramadan cards and finally some lights just to make the basket look more lively and pretty. So we started off by placing our prayer mat inside the basket. Because our basket was a bit deep, it did require a bit of adjustments, but it did fit eventually. Then we added the lights around our basket as evenly as possible. Here you can see us just showing what it looked like at the end. Next, we took our books and our tusby and we placed it inside the basket, just right in the center. So with the books in the center and the tusby on top of the books, just as shown. So we just moved our basket to the side and decided to get started on some quick Ramadan cards just to place inside our basket. And so we used markers, stickers, stamps, as well as some colors just to make the cards look nice. And so of course the best part is you can customize them, make them look as nice as you want, add as many decorations as you want, and uh, just make everyone happy and in the spirit of Ramadan and get as creative as possible. And so, just in case you did want to see, these are what our cards ended up looking like. And then we just placed them straight in, in the basket, right in front of the books. And this is just a reminder that this isn't exactly how your basket has to look like. Of course, you can change up the way the layout is and make it you, you know? And so you can put your cards in the front or the back, wherever you prefer. Next, we moved on to my favorite part, which was the food in the basket. So we started off by placing the spices inside the containers, just as shown. And so honestly, you can use any spices you want. If you want, you don't even have to include the spices, but we basically used one customized spice and black salt. And so we put them inside the container and we already had some cookies, lollipops, and candies. And we used those and placed them nicely inside the basket or as best as they would fit. After adding the spices, we just put our candies, the small ones, inside the box that we had. And then we took the box as well as the cookies, the dates, the uh, water, and we put them all inside the basket and made them fit as best as they could. And so this is kind of just what our basket looked like after we added the food. Now finally, the last thing that we are just going to add, and it's very easy as well, there's just two candles that we had, one was fake and one was real. And so we just placed them wherever we could fit them. And so one of them's at the front, one of them's at the back, as you can see. And with this final step, your basket is now complete. As you can see, it was fairly easy to make. All the materials that we gathered were from home. We didn't go out and buy anything extra. And so that way everyone can stay safe. But of course, if you did want to, you definitely can. One final thing that we did just for fun was wrap our basket. So we got some wrapping paper that was kind of hard to see through from Dalarama. That way it was a complete surprise to whoever we give it to. In addition, we added a piece of paper that says Happy Ramadan so that they know what the basket is for. And so, of course, this isn't how you have to make your Ramadan basket. But anything you add that has some crafts or nice decorations would work. And this is just one simple and fun way to do it. So thank you guys for watching. We really hope that you enjoyed this video and that you guys have a great Ramadan 2021 filled with fun and safe celebrations. Thank you!